an ethical viewpoint, it is very important to distinguish between different climate engineering techniques and to distinguish between CDR and SRM. Why? Because we are facing different kinds of consequences, side effects and uncertainties that come with these techniques. So we cannot lump them all together, because if the consequences are different, we also have to treat the actions different and evaluate those actions differently from a normative viewpoint. On the other side, sometimes we can see that it makes sense to actually talk about climate engineering when we talk about ethical issues. For example, the technofix problem. This occurs for both technology, even so slightly different in details. But what it means is that actually we are trying to use technologies to fix problems that are coming from a different kind of sphere, like the social sphere, like the overconsumption of natural resources, including uh, CO2 sinks. Uh, in another way, it is also made both SRM and CDR may create something is called a moral hazard. A moral hazard then occurs uh, when we don't do as much as we could do to mitigate our adapt to climate change, because we think that we have some kind of possibility to react to severe consequences of climate change in the future, for example, with SRM, especially stratospheric solar radiation management, or to actually get CO2 out of the atmosphere with CDR technologies. Both can lead that people actually neglect mitigation adaptation, adaptation efforts. It is important first to consider the situation that we are in, and this is a situation of an asymmetry of power relations. So we can influence actually future generations where they cannot influence us. So this puts out the temptations for the generation now to actually refer to transfer risks to what costs to watch future generations. And there are the possibility that SRM actually is taken to transfer risks to future generations in this context. Why? Because we can counteract certain uh, uh, consequences of global warming by using SRM. But while we're using it, we have to keep up the usage of it for long periods of times. If not, we are facing with the demination problem. And this actually transfers the risk to future generations. If at any point in the future, we would have to stop it, then temperature would increase rapidly. This would also, so losing a technique like SRM would also kind of choose a climate path also for future generations. Future generations cannot get out easily out of this path once it is chosen. This means that we actually also interfere in their autonomy of choices. So we narrowed their possibility choices, their possibility of choices that they would have in the future to deal with things like climate change. Um, on the other side, as we can see, there may be the possibility that actually we could also reduce some of the risks of global warming for future generations by using SRM techniques. And therefore, what we would have to do is we would have to weigh the risks of SRM, including all of those things like the demination problem, and weigh them against the risks of runaway climate change. Yes, we can see that uh, we are now living in the Anthropocene, which is that we have the possibility to intervene uh, into the Earth system uh, on a large scale, larger than ever before, and we can do so with technologies intentionally. And we already have some experiences with different kinds of technologies, like nuclear power, uh, nanotechnologies, our genetic modifications. Uh, one is special possibility is, for example, human engineering, where you actually modify the genome of human beings uh, to enhance uh, the capacity of thinking, to enhance also their moral capacity in, in some way. Uh, but this will actually lead us to an intervention into the in evolutionary processes. Um, and it may create a society that looks much different than the one we have today which would also then create uh, 
distributional conflicts. So some people would be enhanced, other people would not be enhanced. Uh, and this is also similarity to some of the climate engineering techniques, especially SRM, where we also have to deal with different uh, consequences in different areas. Uh, and so also here we have questions of distributive justice. So we can see that there are different parallels uh, that we can look at, and especially when we look at technologies that have an intentional influence and are very risky and on a large scale. <laughs>